All right, welcome back. Um, as you can see today, I have one of my 1911s on the bench, my Ruger government size 1911, uh, which is unloaded. Okay. <clears throat> so, what I'm gonna talk about today is this holster. So, if you're like me, um, and you tend to get into a little niche for, you know, at least for a while or, or whatnot. And I've gotten a few 1911s as of late. And really, um, the nice thing about having like one kind of gun system is that a holster can be used across all the lines. Um, so this, this holster is by Blackhawk. It is their Serpa Sportster. So... And obviously, it's for hip carry on the right side, and it's for Colt 1911 and clones. So that out of the way. Um, <clears throat> really, it's it's a very simple uh, polymer holster, uh, not really expensive. It was only about twenty nine dollars, um, but I really just needed something. You know, if I'm at the property here and uh, I want to carry uh, and have the gun on my hip, obviously I need a holster. Uh, I don't know if this is really, you know, recommended for concealed carry per se, although you could use that or use it in that uh, factor. So <clears throat> I want to talk just a little bit about the holster itself uh, and how I have uh, had experience with it so far. So first things first, as I said, it's all polymer construction. Um, you do have a retention paddle here. Uh, for the trigger guard and one cool thing about this is that you have a lot of adjustability so you have these little pieces here and they twist in they're a little hard actually to twist so um, well shit sorry there we go. you can use a screwdriver uh, through the, the slot at the back and you can turn them and adjust them so you can adjust this to your belt uh, width or whatever, how high you want it to ride uh, on your side. Now another cool thing is you have, you see all these holes here, here and here and here. So you can adjust the cant. So you can have it more angled forward, you can have it angled, or <laughs> you can change general orientation of the holster itself so that way it can suit your needs, um, which is cool. And um, and let's go ahead and put the gun in the holster. Uh, what you find is that it's a very positive lockup. There is absolutely no wiggle. So that's very nice. Um, as I said with the little paddle here, good positive retention and it's a very safe system. Now, another cool thing is obviously this isn't set up for a red dot, but if I wanted to get a red dot 1911, then this would be appropriate for it, as you can see. Uh, it has a, a cut down here, so that way you can, you know, get it to fit in there. So that is the government size. Let me go ahead and grab my commander size. So the commander size also fits in very well. Obviously, it's just a little shorter, uh, but it does work. So again, like I said, it's a general 1911 holster, so very nice. Uh, now, if you have some weird stuff uh, like this BBR that I have, uh, 3.1, oh, it does not work. Obviously, <laughs> mainly because... <sighs> mainly because this is a double stack. So um, no double stacks will work with this. Now, I don't have an officer size to try in this, but my guess is that it would work because the dimensions are the same up through uh, the frame. So, um, so I guess in closing, um, if you're just looking for a, a relatively cheap, inexpensive holster that has some decent quality and some adjustability uh, and so it can work for whatever you need it to work for um, 
yeah, this is a good choice. Um, it's comfortable, uh, it holds the guns great, and um, you know, for being a cheapie, not bad. It's a lot better than, uh, say, your like nylon ones that are like the material fabric that are just a general size. This actually holds them tight uh, and it can grow with your collection um, and whatnot. And also, I believe you could probably put a, I don't have one to try. I think you could probably get away with a rail on there as well. Um, doesn't say on the box or anything like that. Um, nope. So if anybody knows, let me know. But uh, like I said, if you're in the market, this is a pretty decent buy. I picked this up at my local Dunham Sporting Goods. And, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's just cheap, easy uh, holster that you can find. I've even seen these in Walmart a couple times as well. So uh, generally the availability is there. So, all right, let me know what you guys think. Do you have any experience with these more so? And um, more importantly, any issues? Um, but so far, this has been pretty nice, at least for walking around the property and stuff. So, um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching.